Chris, Black Friday has come and gone, and now is the time to think small. Small businesses, that is. Business owners uh, and that are owned and operated here in Houston are preparing for what they hope will be a successful small business Saturday. Channel 2's Keith Garvin joining us live in Cyprus now with the message from business owners there. Keith? Dominic, we're outside one of those businesses on Grant Road near Luetta and 249. They've gone home for the evening, but they're one of many businesses, small businesses, hoping for a very big day tomorrow. I think Small Business Saturday um, really should be important to all of us. A thought likely on the minds of almost every small business owner in the Houston area as they get ready for Small Business Saturday. At establishments like the Little Eclectic House in Cyprus, owners are preparing for customers the day after the big box stores had their turn on Black Friday. Most say they don't try to compete with the larger stores, instead banking on what makes them exclusive to the customer. I think that we offer them a personal shopping experience, that they can walk in here and whomever is working uh, behind the counter knows their name and knows their style, knows what they like. The business specializes in antiques, vintage furniture, and jewelry, to name a few items. Customers say they appreciate the variety. But the things here are made by real people, not factories. You know, that's what I like. Uh, it, it's very creative. Whatever it is, it's very creative. And it's unique. Cytex Gaming is Carl. Other businesses hope that uniqueness will be a draw on Saturday. I've got to order more. The owner of Cytex Gaming, a store that specializes in board and card games like the popular Pokemon, describes 2020 as a roller coaster. He refers to Small Business Saturday as make or break for a lot of establishments. Owners are hoping for customers who understand the role they play in our economy. When you support a small business, you know, you support your community. You really give your money back to where you're from, where you're living, where you're at. And many small businesses have offered online deals just like the big stores, but they really, really will be relying on that sanitized, socially distanced foot traffic when it comes time tomorrow. Reporting live from Cypress, Keith Garvin, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Shop local. So important. Thank you, Keith.